Stabbed in the head during sex, smelly hyenas, and the Olympic torch reaching new heights? It's been another great week in science. You're having a nice, quiet cuddle, and then BAM! Along comes a stab in the head. Well, that's what happens in certain species of sea slug, which are hermaphrodites. That's when each slug is both male and female. While the slugs are mating, they push a syringe-like appendage into each other's forehead, injecting each other with secretions from their prostate glands. Researchers aren't clear why this sea slug stabbing soissons nerf occurs, but it could help with such things as increasing egg production. Some days, I'm grateful for being a human. Researchers have linked specific human actions to changes in global warming. They found that global warming slowed down in the 1990s, which is directly linked to the 1987 Montreal Protocol that banned ozone-depleting substances like CFCs. They also found that warming slowed during the two world wars and the Great Depression, when the poor economy limited our greenhouse gas emissions. However, warming spiked again in the 1960s, as the economy improved and we got back on our feet. Depression may make you age faster by shortening your telomeres, the part of DNA that controls when cells die. A compound has been found that forces bacteria to digest themselves, providing hope in the fight against antibiotic-resistant superbugs. The Olympic torch has been taken for a spacewalk outside the International Space Station by two astronauts. And the scent glands of hyenas contain special bacteria that help them to communicate, with the female scent changing according to her reproductive stage. November's Science Behind the Headlines will be looking at two of the most pressing public health issues in Australia, depression and anxiety. With one in four Australians likely to have mental health issues in their life, our expert panel will look at mental health and analyse how the media deals with it. Details on our website. That's it for another Week in Science. I'll see you next week.